Let's create some interesting outlines for your subjects in Affinity Photo. First, we need to mask our subject. To save some time, I have already created a pixel layer with the mask. I'll duplicate this by using the Command or Ctrl J keyboard shortcut and move it to the top of the layer stack. To create a mask from this layer, we can right click on it and choose Rasterize to Mask. I'll also duplicate the source image layer and then move the mask to this copy. We now have the original image with our mask subject on top. Let me quickly fix some minor issues in the mask. For the outline we are going to create, it would be best if you have a smooth and sharply masked subject. That looks much better. Let's select the parent layer and switch to the quick effects panel. I'll enable the outline effect and increase the radius until we have a nice fatty outline. I'll also change the outline color to red. Back in the layers panel, I'll group the outline subject. This will allow us to apply effects on the outline. But before we do that, let's get back to the quick effects panel. While the outline subject in the group is selected, and set the fill percentage to zero. This will leave us only with the outline. Now that we only have the outline, we can spice it up. A nice effect for the outline is the halftone effect. From the live filters, let's add the halftone effect and move this above the outline. We can use the line halftone, which gives a pretty nice effect. Another cool effect is the circular halftone. The halftone filter will always result in black and white. If we want to add color to the effect of the halftone, we can add a gradient map on top of the halftone filter. The color on the left will replace the black color, and the color on the right will replace the white color. The color in the middle will be the gray color. This looks pretty nice. We can quickly go back to the halftone filter and adjust the contrast to include more gray in the halftone which as a result will also show up the greens from the gradient map. Instead of the halftone filter, we can also use the procedural texture filter to create interesting outlines. I'll disable the halftone filter and add a procedural texture on top. Just experiment with the presets, but I especially like the waves preset. You can also use my procedural texture assets to fill the outline. Link to that video will be in the description. Remember that you are not limited to the halftone or the procedural texture filter. As we have the outline separated, you can apply any effect or adjustment you want. For example, you could also blend another image in the outline. The limit is your imagination. Let me quickly modify the background of the composition. For that, I'll duplicate the image and the mask so I can create another mask copy, but this time I'm going to mask the background by inverting the mask of the subject. I can now add adjustments to this layer to change the background. I'll change the color and make it a bit darker so the subject with the outline gets more attention. I hope you liked this quick video and learned something new today. Thanks again for tuning in and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons before leaving. Until the next video.